<laughs> Ryan, uh, you've been the topic of discussion because uh, after four games, you don't have any points, and and uh, and Coach said that he, you know, he put Pavel on your line to try and get you guys going. Uh, he also said that he thought you, you know, you looked a little bit more like yourself on on Friday night. So, could you just tell us a little about what's going on with you, how you're feeling out there, and and uh, you know, if any of this is weighing on you in any way? No, not really. I mean, I don't. Uh, this is the first time I heard about anything that you told me now, so I just try to focus on everything in here. And um, you know, obviously, I didn't, I wasn't too happy with my first few games, but I thought my last game was um, definitely my better one. Um, you know, had a lot of chances. I think you know, sometimes at the beginning of the season, things are magnified when um, you know it's it's the start of the season. You obviously want to get to a good start, and when you have zeros, I mean, it's obviously uh, more noticeable. So um, you know, like I said, I'm happy with the way I played last game. I think um, you know, got down to the basics and. Um, you know, at the end of the day, I'm, I still think I'm doing some good things out there. But you got to produce, and you got to start to uh, you got to start to put in some numbers five on five. And I think that's what we've been missing. And um, hopefully, last game we can build off of. We had a lot of chances that just uh, didn't quite go. So hopefully, we can get make the most of those, and we can uh, you know get rolling here because we got to obviously help the team win, and um, that's just part of the business. Hey, do we have any more questions for Ryan? Colin, again, go ahead, Colin. Yeah, uh, if I could just follow up on that a little bit, Brian. You, 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 uh, you know, it's been four games. You've played with now three different great wingers. Um, how difficult has it been to kind of find the guy that you know will give you what Quickie gave you? Yeah, I mean, you, you know, you lose a guy in your top six. It's not, uh, it's not the easiest thing, right? And there's no preseason, so you know, it's been, uh, you know, it's kind of learn as we go here. But I mean, every team's in the same situation, so I think it's just a matter of. Like I said, getting down to the basics, I was happy with the way things went last game, Quinny, Quinny as well, and um, I think uh, just keep building. It's a you know it's a shortened season, but um, at the same time, you know, four games isn't you know it's not time to panic. I think just stick with it, keep going, keep doing the right things, and hopefully things will start to go in. I think uh, sometimes you can get frustrated and put some pressure on yourself, but um, ultimately it's just about helping the team and what you can do to help the team win. And um, unfortunately right now I'm not scoring, so i got to try to find other ways to contribute, and um, hopefully the pucks start going in soon. And um, I'm confident they will. I think we've been working hard and um, you know watching video, doing all the right things to try to figure it out. And um, it's just a matter of execution and getting out there and doing it. I think uh, every game's going to be a tough game in our division, but, uh, you know, um, we got to start to win games here and get on a little run here. Next question comes from Larry Brooks with the New York Post. Larry, go ahead. Hey, what were you thinking um, during the off season with the delay in the qualifier and going right up to the brink of arbitration? Um, I I don't I don't really understand what what like what was I thinking like in terms of in terms of what? In terms of were you? Curious whether you were going to be qualified or not. Was was it ever did it weigh on you at all that you might not be qualified? I mean, it's, it's, you know, you know they, they took a little bit of time in doing that. Um, I don't know. I, I'm not really sure how to answer that. I, I think um, you know, it's a business. There's a salary cap. Um, teams have to make a decision. Um, you know, I think I let my agent handle that, and I just tried to work in the summer and be ready. And um, you know, I'm always pretty confident that they wanted me back here. I think I fit in well. I think uh, with the group of guys we have, it's a good mix, and wanted to be a part of it. So I mean, um, you know, my job was just to show up and, and perform, and uh, here we are. So I mean, um, you know, I, I love playing here. I think uh, we got a good thing going. I think uh, the guys are good, the coaches are good, and everyone enjoys being at the rink. And I'm certainly a part of that. And um, you know, hopefully we can start to get some more wins here. And uh, you know, it's always more fun at the rink when we're winning. Next question comes from Vince Fercogliano with USA Today Network. Vince, go ahead. Hey Ryan, I got in while you were answering that question about yes versus sorry if I'm asking you to repeat anything, but um, just wanted to get your thoughts on what it is that you guys are trying to find, what you feel like the issues have been so far. It, it did look like with Boots you guys were, were generating more chances the other night, obviously you didn't finish any, but what is it that you feel like you guys are searching for right now? Um, I think a little bit of simplicity to be honest with you. I think um, I think sometimes you're trying to make plays too much, you're almost like you're trying too hard or you you care too much in the sense that you're trying to force it a little bit and making plays that probably aren't there versus, you know, relying on your skill and your instincts and your and the system to kind of take over. And uh, I thought we did a little bit more of that last game and the results. I mean, we didn't get on the score sheet, but um, I think, you know, definitely had more chances and were, was around the puck more. So um, I, I don't think it's anything about any individual guys. I think there's a lot of guys here that are capable of playing in the NHL and 
capable of uh, performing. It's just a matter of execution. And um, it's obviously going to be a tough year with the same teams we're playing in the division and every game you uh, are against rivals and stuff like that. So it's just about finding a way to break through and uh, to try to uh, try to produce and you know find a little chemistry and get on a roll here, like I said, as a team. Next question comes from Molly Walker with the New York Post. Molly, go ahead. Hey, Ryan. Um, do you think you would attribute your struggles so far to the jumbling of the lines, that it's been tough to find a groove and rhythm with all the different line combinations? Uh, no, not really. I think that's just part of hockey. Um, I think just a matter of, like I said, uh, simplifying a little bit, let the instincts take over. Um, I, I think if you force it too much or you look for answers outside of yourself, that's where you get into trouble. I think it's a matter of just looking at yourself and trying to be better and finding a way to get the pucks to go in and get a little bit of confidence and get rolling. I think, um, you know, obviously with one, two and one start, I think obviously you're going to search for answers. And I think when, you know, guys aren't scoring, obviously you got to start there. So just a matter of, you know, putting your head down and working hard, get back at it. And um, it doesn't really matter who you're playing with. I think you got to go out there and perform. That's just part of the business.